Okay, so a likely uh, next step in our discussions um, about uh, about fatty acid oxidation is to start talking about unsaturated fatty acids. Now everybody knows what an unsaturated fatty acid is. That just means it has one or more double bonds. Okay, one or more double bonds. So it's an unsaturated fatty acid. And really, there's not too much of a difference. Okay, it's going to go through beta oxidation. You know, very and actually in the beginning of this pathway, it's going to go through beta oxidation the exact same way it did previously. But the big difference here is the type of bond we're dealing with, or the double bond that we're dealing with. Okay, the main difference is we start with a cis double bond. Okay, recall from organic chemistry, cis means these are on the same side. The hydrogens are on the same side, and the chains are on the same side. Okay, they're not on opposite sides, so it's not a trans double bond. Okay, this is a cis double bond, and the enzymes for fatty acid oxidation or for beta oxidation only work on trans double bonds. Okay, so we have a problem. Here we go. Here we have this. Okay, we have seven carbons here. So. And that and that's interesting right here. So I've, uh, I'm saying that this is seven CH2 molecules before we get to this um, trans uh, rather cis double bond here. Okay. So before we get to this cis double bond, we got seven carbons here. Okay. So that means we can essentially go through three rounds of beta oxidation. Okay. Remember, recall each round of beta beta oxidation removes two carbons. Two carbons become the acetyl CoA. Okay, so each one removes two carbons. That's a total of six carbons. And that leaves us with this molecule here. Okay, we end up with cis delta three enol CoA. Okay, so now look, we lost the we lost the six carbons here. See, we had seven here. Okay, we lost six of those. We have one left. And then we have, so this is carbon two, three, and four. Okay, so between this three, four here, we have this cis double bond, okay? And we need to find a way to get rid of that cis double bond, okay? Because we need to make that cis double bond a trans double bond in order for beta oxidation to continue. So with this molecule, cis delta 3 enol CoA, okay, we have a special enzyme, of course, because that's going to catalyze the reaction. And what's that, what that enzyme is called is cis delta 3 enol CoA isomerase. Now you want to remember this enzyme, okay? Cis delta 3 enol CoA isomerase extremely important enzyme. And what does it do? Well, it does exactly what you might think it does, uh, what you might think it would do, rather, is that it, it just catalyzes a reaction that converts the 3-4 cis double bond to a 2-3, okay, to a 2-3 trans double bond, okay? So that's what I got right here. It converts this cis delta 3 to a trans delta 2 bond, okay? And it's an isomerization. Hence the word isomerase as for the uh, on the end of the enzyme name. Okay, so here you go again. Look, alpha carbon, beta carbon. Again, we're back to the same two carbons, and now we have this trans double bond here. Okay, and we can now go back through our process of hydration, and then another oxidation reaction, and then the thiolase, and we can break this down. Okay, so this can go through beta oxidation. So that's how you handle um, unsaturated fatty acids.